What's up Fortnite fans, the developers have absolutely been killing it recently with the updates within Fortnite. So we're going to be taking a look at all of them. There's a new city coming, there's a new game mode coming, and there's a lot more. Let's get into it. <laughs> Alrighty, so before we get started, this time is in the description, so if you want to hear about the city, you can skip straight to that, or if you want to hear about the new game mode, you can skip straight to that as well, so we're going to be going through each and individual thing, so if you want to hear about everything, just keep it rolling, alright, so let's get started with my personal favourite, the new city. So, there's been a lot of discussion about this new city, where it's going to be, where it's going to fit in, how it's going to, you know, work, because these buildings are huge. I think they're going to be similar sizes to the factory sort of buildings, but the insides are going to have a lot more rooms. As you can see, all of the windows, some of them look about five stories tall, maybe even higher. So it's going to be really interesting fights. The one thing I'm going to be looking out for is though, knocking these buildings down when there's players camping at the top of them. Are they going to take maximum fall damage and get crushed? It's going to be interesting. So this leaves one more question. Where is this going to be located on the map? It's very obviously going to be on the left side of the map, right? Because there's not many things in that area. Well, one member on the Reddit forums, James Austin, ha thinks he's cracked the case. He thinks it's going to be located at the bottom left side of Loot Lake, and he shows his evidence here. So, is James going to be correct? We'll have to wait and see, won't we? If you want to add any more information to this, feel free to comment on your thoughts down below. Let's move on to the next section, shall we? Alright, next up, let's talk stats. In the next update, you'll be getting a bunch of information. Whenever you win a game or lose a game, you're going to be given a lot of information. Things from your accuracy all the way to your distance traveled. This is going to be a fantastic feature. This wasn't needed, but the developers sure are giving us everything that we've always wanted. Next up, there's also the inventory management system. This has been changed. I, I actually like the inventory in this game, but they've decided to make it a little more easier for us. I'm assuming it's going to work similar to PUBG, where you drag things into the center to drop it. Um, and yeah, just makes it a quality of life update. One thing that I hope is possible is that you can now walk and open your inventory, but I don't know if this will be possible. Fingers crossed, guys. Next up on this post is the new shooting model that they mentioned. This model is extremely interesting um, because they did something very similar just a couple weeks ago. They tightened up the shooting and made it more accurate. Well, they're thinking about doing this again. And I feel like if they made it even more accurate with less bloom and less RNG, well, isn't that going to make it extremely easy to kill people? Like, if the accuracy is in unbelievably slick, it's going to give them no time to react with the amount of damage weapons do right now. Scars can do up to 70 damage, and it's just ridiculous. So, I feel like they might need to nerf the damage if they decide to improve the accuracy, but we're going to have to wait to hear more about it. Luckily, they have below this section is a test client that they've mentioned. This is actually really interesting. I've not heard many people talking about this. Is the test client. This is going to be really awesome to, to try out, get, give some feedback to the developers, and, you know, just test out the game and let them know what we think of the, the possible updates that are coming to the game before they've finished them. So this is going to be pretty awesome. Alrighty, last but not least, there's a new game mode coming out on the 7th of December is when they're going to be unveiling it. So this seems pretty interesting. I found a comment from one of the developers that says it's going to be a limited edition game mode. So it could possibly be something Christmas based just for the month of December. So what do you guys think this could be? Could they be making it into a snow map? Could they be adding some extra things to the map just for Christmas? Could they freeze Loot Lake? Make it all ice which you slide on could there be a snowball mini game where you throw snowballs at each other uh, the, the possibilities are endless and they haven't given as much information about this so you know it's inspiring discussion guys so make sure you let us know what you think because i'm fresh out of ideas all right that pretty much covers everything Everything so far for the month of December, and I'm excited to see what's next. These developers have been hammering out updates, and it's been insane. I'm very, very impressed 
at the uh, the developers and yes I cannot wait to see more so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this and want to see more Fortnite news make sure you slap that subscribe button and yeah I love you guys and I'll catch you guys later peace